Today, we have a very important question and issue. What do you need to do if there is a lot of rush near the Hajj as well in Kaaba? So as you know, every one of us want to touch and kiss the Hajri Aswad. And it is a sunnah of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as well. So every one of us wants to, and it is a, uh, wants to follow this sunnah in which we want to touch and kiss the Hajri Aswad. But the problem is this, especially during the Hajj days, there is a lot of rush there's a lot of crowd near the Hajri Aswad and it is almost impossible for us to go there and touch it and kiss it. Especially if we try to enter that crowd, then what happens? Being a male, if I try to enter that crowd, my body will touch the bodies of female, which is not a good thing. Similarly, if you are a female and if you try to enter that crowd, and reach near the Hajri Aswad, then surely your body will also touch different males, which is also a, not a good thing. I will say it is a very bad thing. We need to avoid that thing. So first of all, the answer of this question is in masnad imam Ahmad, hadith number 190. What is the answer here? Here the Prophet wasallam said this thing to Umar, Anhu, but it is valid for all of us. You are a strong man. Do not crowd others to touch the black stone, lest you harm the weak. If you find a gap, then touch it. Otherwise, turn to face it and say, La ilaha illallah and Allahu Akbar. So what does this mean? Whether you are a man or whether you are a woman, if you see there is a lot of crowd there, if you are a strong person, then don't try to push others. Don't try to enter that crowd and uh, cause problems for others. Just stay away from that crowd. Similarly, the woman, don't enter the crowd. If you enter the crowd, then your body will touch the bodies of other men. This is not a good thing at all, especially in Haram. So just stay away from that rush. Stay away from that crowd. Just look at it and say la ilaha illallah and allah Akbar. so make sure when you go to hajj and umrah and if you see a lot of rush there then don't try to go near the black stone hajri aswad stay away from it but if there is a no no rush like there are times especially after midnight when we can easily touch and kiss the black stone if you are at that time there in the mosque then you can definitely you need to follow that sunnah in which you will uh, go near the Hajri Aswad and you will touch and kiss the black stone. So I hope this will be benefit for you and whether you are a man or whether you are a woman, you will not enter the rush crowd and you will make sure that your body will not touch the bodies of non-Mahalam. If you have any question, feel free to ask me. See you all next time, inshallah. Ma salama.